Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Command Creativity and welcome back to the Sell series. Now in this section, we're gonna learn how to get paid for the various products we sell in our store. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so getting paid online should be very easy, but there are so many services online that make this process pretty difficult. But let me tell you something, Sells makes this incredibly easy to get paid for the various products you sell through your Sells store. Now, Sells uses two payment gateways for getting paid, and that's Sells Pay and also PayPal. So let me take both of these in turn so I can kind of compare them for you. All right, so let's begin with Sells. Now, the nice thing about Sells Pay is it's built directly into your Sells account, so no need to create another account for getting paid. Also, Sells uses something called batch payments, so every transaction that happens on your store within the day will be bundled together and sent to your bank, so you'll have it within seven days. Also, Sells Pay handles multi currency seamlessly, and there are no redirects to other payment gateways. It's all built into the seamless and modern designed checkout experience. Also, the cost per transaction is 2.9% plus 30 cents plus your plan specific percentage which I'll go into in more detail in a second but that is very very comparable to other payment gateways out there now let's quickly talk about PayPal PayPal is so well known throughout the industry for making payments online and the nice thing is customers can use their own PayPal account and funds are paid directly to your own PayPal account as well also the cost per transaction using PayPal depends on your specific business plan fees plus your specific sales plan percentage. Also for both of these services they are SSL secured through your sales store and there are post checkout redirects that you can set up which will send the buyer to a predefined URL. And both the sales pay and PayPal integration have a modern design. All right so let's take a look at both of these services and set them up inside of our sales account. All right, so let's log into our sales account to connect to these payment gateways. So what we want to do is tap on settings down here under admin. So tap on that and navigate to the checkout tab. So everything that pertains to the checkout process through our sales store is taken care of within this tab. Now, remember when I was talking about those plan specific fees? Well, depending on your sales account and the plan that you have, these transaction fees will be different. So when you tap on the plans here under admin, so tap on that. We can see what our transaction fee will be depending on the plan we have. So starting with the light plan, you have the 2% transaction fee. The standard plan has a 1% transaction fee and pro has a 0% transaction fee. And these fees are on top of the processing fees. So just make sure to choose whichever plan works best for you. Great, so let's navigate back to the checkout tab and let's set up this payment gateway. So what we want to do is choose the country that we're in, I'm in the US, and then tap on this big green enable button. And then you'll be brought to this page where you have to fill out the necessary personal and banking information. And just follow all the steps and press continue and complete the form. Now if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And now with PayPal, when you want to set that up, just click on this big blue connect to PayPal button. You'll be brought over to the PayPal website so that you can make sure PayPal and sales talk to each other. So I'm going to log into the Command Creativity Sales account and show you what this will look like since I can't submit example information to enable sales pay in PayPal on this demo store. All right, so I just logged into my sales account using the Command Creativity logins, and as you can see, both of these sales pay and PayPal options are enabled. And if I do want to update any information, I can just tap on update or I can remove the PayPal integration and re-log in. Okay, great, so we just connected our payment gateways and now it's time to further customize our store so that we can display our products effectively and market it to our customers. So that's what's gonna happen in the next couple of videos and I'm excited to show you more about what Sells has to offer.